Okay, so here's a gram positive rod flow chart. So if you have um, growth on the blood auger plate, then you do a gram stain. Um, and then if it, to determine that it's a gram positive rod, um, then catalase test, if it's negative, it'll be some kind of uh, lactobacillus species. Um, but if it's positive for catalase, um, then you check for the motility. Um, if it's negative, it's gonna be a diploid, which um, would be like your Kerini bacterium. And then if it's positive and has a tumbling motility, it's gonna be your Listeria species. So it's important to remember um, to differentiate these. It's gonna be catalase positive, and then you check motility. Now this is gonna be um, a more in-depth one for your gram-positive rods. So spore former, formers versus non-spore formers. Um, your spore formers are gonna be bacillus, um, and if it's beta hemolytic and motile, um, it'll be a bacillus species, and if it's not, it'll be your B. anthracis. And then your non-spore formers can be um, aerobic, acinum, um, actinomyces, and um, arcanobacterium, carinibacterium, uh, Reese pelithorix, uh, gardenella vaginalis, lactobacillus, or listeria. Um, so if you have branching, then it can be your aerobic actinomycetes, which is like Nicardia, uh, Gordania, Pseudomorella, uh, Rhodocus, and Streptomyces. And if it's negative, it can be your um, Arcanobacterium, Cranibacterium, Arisi, Pelothorix, um, Gardenella, Vaginalis, Lactobacillus, or Listeria, um, at which point you can go in your catalase testing. So which one's gonna be positive? Catalase positive. We just talked about it a little bit. So your Carinibacterium and Listeria. And what's the difference um, between the Listeria and the Carinibacterium? Motility in the bioesculin hydrolysis. Exactly. So Listeria is going to have motility at 22 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature, and not at uh, 37. And then your Carinibacterium will be negative for both of them. But I love the, the flow charts just because I think it's easier than sitting there and also memorizing all these different reactions for every given species. I mean, there's not enough time in the world. Well, maybe in the world, but not always. And then the next one is going to be Listeria. 